Hi guys, in this video I'm going to showcase how we can change the colour of different shoes in Core 3D using hue saturation in Photoshop. Um, so of course this doesn't apply to any shoes that can be easily changed within the program. So for example, if I showcase these um, slip-on vans from the official Connect account, you can see that you know we can select any part of the shoe pretty much, the upper and the lower, and we can change them very easily over here in the property editor. However, if you're using any shoes that have been made in an external program or shoes that have been made from photogrammetry scans, you can see here, for example, these Nike Air Max ones, we can't press on individual parts of the shoe to change the color of those individual parts. And if we do try and change the color over here in the property editor, it sort of just puts like a film over the existing color, as you can see. Um, it doesn't look great at all. So what we have to do in this situation is we have to take the texture from the shoe into Photoshop and change using the hue saturation function. So to find the texture of the shoe, we just need to click on the shoe and come over here into the property editor. And you'll see here, this is our texture. So we now need to open this in an ex external program. So we click open with and we click Photoshop. If yours does not say Photoshop here, you can press add another app go through to Adobe and then into Photoshop. So now that we're in Photoshop, you'll see here, this is the texture of the shoe. It's very busy and very messy and sort of quite hard to understand, but it's essentially a flat version of the shoe. And it's fairly simple to change the color of the shoe. Now I will start off by saying this doesn't work as well for any areas that are black or any areas that are pure white, but this does work really well for colored sections of the shoe. And I'm gonna show you this now with the orange sections of this shoe. So first off, I'm gonna start by pressing the unlock button on this texture. I'm gonna come down into the new fill or adjustment layer icon down the bottom, and we're gonna click on hue saturation. Now in this, we can change the master to any of these colors. However, it's much easier if we use the hand picker tool here. So we can click on this and we can color pick an area that we want to change the color of. So obviously I'm going for orange in this case, I'm gonna click the orange. And you'll see here that it's preset to the reds and it's given us this bracket of color down here that it's going to alter. Now, if we slide the saturation and the lightness all the way to the top, you'll see it's much easier to determine now which areas are covered in the mask. And now using this slider here, you can see we've got the left side and the right side. We're going to narrow this slider so that it's only picking up the color that we want it to pick up. So you can see there's quite a lot of noise that it's picking up over here and in the uh, and this section as well of the white. So we can just slide this over until the selection is a lot cleaner and on this side as well. And once you're happy with the selection, we can now bring the saturation and the lightness back down to zero. And we can now adjust the hue, the saturation and the lightness to change the color of this orange to whatever color you like. So for example, if we were to go this end of the scale, we could have a nice green, we can increase the saturation or decrease the saturation and the lightness as well to give a completely different color. Now I'm gonna create a few different variants of this. So I really like this uh, forest green color. So once we're happy with it, we can just press file, export, quick export as PNG and we can save this wherever suits us. And I'm also gonna create a brown version two. And I also want a black version two, so I'm gonna drag the lightness all the way down to the bottom, as well as the saturation. And just like that, really, really simple, we've created three new colorways of this Air Max One to use in Claw. And now that we're back in Claw 3D, we just need to apply this new texture to the shoe. So we click on both shoes, holding shift, click on this little icon here to replace the texture and select the new textures that we've just created. As you can see, here is the forest green color. Here is the brown and again, the black colorway. And I'm gonna show you the, the process again, just on a different pair of shoes. We're gonna do it on these uh, Chicago ones. So again, I'm gonna export the texture out of Claw using this open with button. 
into Photoshop. And you'll see here we have the flattened out AJ1 texture. So again, we're just going to go into the hue saturation and we are going to use the hand picker to select the reds. Boost. So I boosted my saturation and my lightness all the way to the top just to determine where the mask is. And you can see on this one, there's quite a lot leaking into the whites and the color of the soul. So we do need to pull back on the yellows here just to lose that. And now that the mask is completed, we can again go through and change the color. Okay, and again, I'm going to go with a forest green for these. So exact same process as before, we just press file, export, quick export as PNG. And back into Claw, again, we're changing the texture. We're changing the texture to this new one. And now, as you can see, we've got a nice pair of forest green Air Jordan 1s. And that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments below.